Hi guys, welcome to Royal Logos. It's my pleasure to have you here and I really hope that you all are doing well. In today's logo design tutorial, I will demonstrate you that how can we design this logo from very start to the finish by using Inkscape. This logo is the combination of two elements, letter G and a magnifying glass. Now let's continue with the design process in Inkscape. So first of all, if your Inkscape menu isn't appearing like this, then go to view and select it to custom. Again go to view, go to show and hide and make sure that all of these options must be turned on. Then go to file, select the document properties, set the display units to pixels and custom units to also pixels. Then set the width of your page to 1920 and hide to 1080 pixels. Then simply click on this cross icon. Now the presence of two menus is very important in Inkscape for almost each and every project. The first one is fill and stroke menu. Simply click on this icon. And the second one is align and distribute menu. Simply click on this icon like this. Then click on this icon which says zoom to fit page in windows like this. Now first of all select the rectangle tool. And to draw a perfect scale, simply hold down the control key, then hold down your left mouse button and draw a random scale like this. Then select the selection tool and we doesn't need the fill, so we will cancel it by clicking on this cross icon and assign it some stroke color or you can say a boundary color by holding down the shift key on your keyboard and clicking on this black color like this. Now the width of this line is too much. We only want a thinner line as a reference to draw our shape. For this purpose, go to fill and stroke menu, then go to stroke style, set the value of width to pixels and set the unit of width to 3 pixels and press enter. And if you want to set the specific dimensions for this scale, then here we have the option for the width and the height. First click on this lock icon to lock the dimensional properties, then set the value of width to 550 pixels and press enter. Then right click and select duplicate and enter the value of width for the duplicated copy to 300 pixels and press enter. Then select both of these parts, go to align and distribute menu. From the relative to select page, then click on this one which says center on vertical axis and also on this one which says center on horizontal axis like this. Then select the pen tool, click once at this position and to draw a perfect straight line. Simply hold down the control key and move your mouse cursor towards the bottom. Then again left click and press enter like this. Again select the selection tool, select all of these parts. Then center on vertical axis and also on center on horizontal axis like this. Then to deselect all of these parts, simply left click on the white area. Then select only on this line, right click and select duplicate. And now we have to rotate this line to 90 degrees. Simply click on this icon and your line will be rotated. Now again select the pen tool and now we have to draw our line from this corner to this corner. For this purpose, first of all, we have to turn on the snapping options. So enable the snapping options by simply clicking on this icon. Then click on this icon which says snap nodes, path and handles. Then on this one snap to paths and also on this one which says snap to rectangle corners. Then simply click on this corner and again click on this corner and press enter like this. And now we are almost done with our reference geometry. And now we will continue with the regular design process. For this purpose, select the ellipse tool, then hold down your left mouse button towards this corner and move your mouse cursor towards this corner like this. To differentiate between the parts, we can simply change the color of this circle. So hold down the shift key and click on this orange color like this. Then go to fill and stroke menu and in the stroke style simply set the value of width to say 55 pixels and press enter. And reduce the opacity to almost 50%. Now again we have to draw a circle. So hold down your left mouse button at this corner of this smaller rectangle and drag it towards this corner. Then select the edit pass by nodes tool and you can see that a small circular icon is appearing at the circle. Simply hold down the control key on your keyboard, then hold down your left mouse button at this circular icon and drag it in the upper direction and it will be rotated at 15 degrees. 
again drag it 30 degrees again at 45 degrees and if you want to remove these lines then again select the circle tool and simply click on this icon which says switch to arc and now your circle is converted into an arc again select the edit path by nodes tool simply click on this circle again hold down the control key then your left mouse button at this circular icon and drag it towards this intersection point of the circle and the line like this again select the circle tool and click on this icon which says switch to arc then select the selection tool go to path and select object to path then select the pen tool and now we have to draw a line from this node to this intersection point for this purpose we have to turn on the snapping options of the intersection so simply click on this icon which says snap to path intersections then left click on this node and drag it towards this corner then press enter and now we have to draw another line from this corner to this intersection point of the circle and this line so simply click on this corner again left click at this intersection point and press enter and in the fill and stroke menu simply go to stroke style and set the value of width to 55 pixels and press enter then click on this icon which says round joints and round caps and also we have to change its stroke color so hold down the shift key and click on this orange color and reduce its opacity to almost 50% then select the selection tool and click on the white area to deselect this shape then again select the pen tool click on this corner then click at this intersection point and now we have to draw a vertical straight line so hold down the control key then move your mouse cursor towards the bottom and again left click then press enter to complete the shape then select the selection tool hold down the shift key and click once on this outer circle then go to path and select cut path and now we have to select only this shape and press delete now we can delete the reference lines so simply select this rectangle press delete also for this one like this now select all of these parts go to path and select stroke to path again go to path and select union then drag it at this position hold down the control key then your left mouse button at this handle and drag it like this now we will write the text so simply select the edit and create text tool left click on the page and write the name which is go find and i want to change the font to poly so here we have the option simply write p o double l y and select poly from the drop down and from the dimensions to bold then again select the selection tool hold down the control key then your left mouse button at this handle and drag it like this select both of these parts go to align and distribute menu and click on this icon which says center on horizontal axis now go to fill and stroke menu and increase its opacity to 100 percent and now we are done with our logo design process in Inkscape. You can try different color palettes and gradients of your own choice. Now you can share your thoughts about the design in the comment section that whether you liked it or not or if you want to suggest any modifications. And if you think that this video helps you in some way then like and subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.